Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this video, we discuss how almost all grooving is equivalent for the most common purpose of air handling. There are uncountable grooving styles in use in our industry. For example, one large machine builder, the Beloit Corporation, had over 2,000 grooving patterns in their drawing files. This can be quite confusing to the person who might design, specify, buy, or maintain rollers. Here is a list of just some of the more common patterns or shapes. No matter what the shape or size, most grooves and even roller roughening in web handling has the same purpose. That purpose is traction. However, it is not as commonly thought to increase traction. More carefully stated, it is to maintain traction at speed in the presence of air entrainment. If you don't already have traction at low speeds, adding grooving will not usually help. A near perfect analogy for the primary purpose of grooving is the treads on your car tire. They do not help with traction when the roads are dry. In fact, they decrease traction slightly over a smooth tire, as any race car driver will tell you. Instead, these treads will help maintain traction at higher speeds when the roads are very wet. Specifically, they reduce the chance of hydroplaning. Grooving can also sometimes help with traction with unusually deformable surfaces, just as treads can help with mud or snow. The amount of air entrained between a moving web and a roller can be easily calculated using the Knox-Sweeney equation. The amount is proportional to speed and radius and inversely proportional to tension. Thus, using the equation, we can calculate the air film thickness across the width. A combination of web and roller roughness must have sufficient volume to handle that amount of air plus a safety factor. To get the area or volume, we could have lots of little grooves or fewer bigger grooves. The same is true of air pockets if we use roughness. Of course, there are practical trade-offs between little and big grooves. While little grooves could certainly handle the air, they are expensive to machine and maintain. On the other hand, as we will see in the next video, bigger grooves might not do the job and could even mark or wrinkle the web. There is an algorithm in my roller book that gives a sizing recipe. However, you needn't pull out the book and a calculator because it's embedded in the free air lubrication calculator written by Professor Stephen Abbott in his wildly popular Abbott App series and is vetted by web handling experts. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. Please stay tuned for other roller topics. If you want to learn more about the principles and details of traction, grooving, and many other must-know topics, consider signing up for my very popular web handling and converting seminar. 